It's a Cinderella story about a wealthy businessman falling for a prostitute. It was directed by Gary Marshall. It starred Richard Gere and the then virtually unknown Julia Roberts. And for the first time since its 1990 release, we gathered them together. Take a moment and take it all in. You're looking at the first time this group, the cast and director of Pretty Woman, has been in the same room together in 25 years. Julia Roberts, Richard Gere, Laura San Giacomo, Hector Elizondo, and director Gary Marshall, some seeing each other for the first time since they were on that same set. Thank you for doing this. If I forget to tell you later, I had a really good time. <laughs> <laughs> that if was I forget a good time. You know. Yeah, yeah. I love what you just said, that Hector looks exactly he the looks same. He looks the same. He's been refrigerated <laughs> for 25 years. I remarked that uh, I think Richard was about, about 15, and I was 12, and, and 12 yeah. something, like that. and Julia was about 10. It was 107. That was the oldest. No, it doesn't it seem like 25 years. It doesn't to me. And that it doesn't seem like it's, five minutes. It's 45 years. Is what it feels like. <laughs> no, honestly, it feels like a long time ago we did that. But then, as I was saying, that was two marriages ago for me. So it's, <laughs> a lot, a lot of things happen. And action. And a lot of things happen to even get this movie made. The original script for Pretty Woman wasn't even a romance or a comedy, but a dark, cautionary tale about drug abuse called 3,000. 3,000 was a reference to... How much money she got paid. You were a drug addict. At the end of the original script, um, Richard's character threw my character out of the car, threw the money on top of her and drove away and the credits rolled. You die oh, at the end uh -huh. and this was a romantic comedy. Everything changed when Gary Marshall was brought in and the movie was sold to Disney. Talk about casting. Who got cast first? I was cast in 3000 before it went to Gary and then over a happy weekend of having a job, it was sold to Disney and I was out of a job. No, but Steve Ruth, one of the producers with Laura Ziskin, they liked her and they said, she's very good, you should use her, Gary. I didn't know her from Adam or anybody. As I said, she was just 21 years old, hello. And uh, I we came met. In and he said, I don't know what to do with you. Some people say you can't dress her up. Some people say you can't dress her down. What do you do? You smile. That's what you do. <laughs> he, he had that smile. That's yeah, right. he had the smile. So that's true. did you lose the part and then come back and get it again? Is that how it worked? Yeah. Do you lose it just for a day or so? Well, the, Disney it wasn't felt quite sure. quite lost for yeah, a few Disney weeks. Disney wasn't sure who we should get and this and that, but we screen tested and she tested with 10 people, a lot of people she tested with. Do you remember the audition? Yes, but, even, but once I got the job and we were doing screen tests, we screen tested with all of these um, different people. Well, I remember some of them. <laughs> The truth is, I made a test with uh, Charles Grodin. Richard? Could have been Charles Grodin. Could have been Charles. Could have been Charles. <laughs> so the story goes that when you first read the script, you said, no, thank you. A few well, times. A few times, yeah. It was, Why? It, was, it, was, it wasn't a part. There was just nothing. I, the joke was, it's, just, it's a suit. You could put a suit on a goat and put it out there, and it would work. I don't think that's and it quite was, right. But that's, I just didn't. So, yeah, I didn't get it. But what he did get was chemistry, and when he met Julia Roberts for the first time, he knew they had it. You know, we met... Gary this brought is... me to meet Richard. I don't think so. He did, no, to New York. I can't believe, this is so important to me and you're not remembering. No, no, but I'll tell you the part that I do remember. No, this was important to me. I just remember you sitting across from my desk, 
It's in, your in my office, my apartment, in my office. They yeah. were both the same at That's that point. Gary remember. brought me there, and he said, you "Richard, across- Julia, Julia, Richard. Well, I'll see you later." And he walked out. Okay. Yes, no, no. and left you two alone. Yeah, but I was so mesmerized. I don't remember Gary. I just remember the girl. I walked. I always, when you meet stars, if you have a, a normal thing, you're taught. You go to the restroom while they talk. <laughs> and I came out and I saw the two of them at the end of the hall just looking at each other. And right there I said, look at that chemistry. They don't know each other. And they're doing great. And yeah, we loved each other immediately. So it was a, it was a nice thing. But I, to be honest, I was still, I didn't know if I was doing this movie yet. She's across from my desk. We're getting to know each other. We're flirty, flirty, nice, nice. It's all this is going. And he calls up and it's kind of like, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going, yeah, yeah. And she's across the desk, and she takes a piece of paper, and she's oh, writing post-it. something on it, post-it. You remember more than I, I did. I just, I and just, she, really she turns it around, and she pushes it to me, and said, said, please say yes. I remember that. It was so sweet, and I've said, I just said yes. <laughs> she did it. She did it. <laughs> it's like right out of the movie. That, that's that's right. fantastic. Well, that's what chemistry is. You're on my facts. And that's one I haven't been on before. Let's talk about some scenes. Julia, what's your favorite scene in the movie? I don't know. Driving around in the car in Hollywood was was pretty hilarious. The Lotus. Can you put as big as your arm from your elbow to your wrist? Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. It's a little bit of trivia. I don't even know if I knew how to drive a car very well Well, you did. You went pretty (laughs) fast for the cameraman, but they got it. Richard is racking his brain, I can tell right now. Did you have a favorite scene? Well, it was basically any scene where Julia was walking, (laughs) which was fun for all of us. In that outfit? In that outfit, yeah. It was all about legs. That outfit. And those crazy boots. And the boots. Yeah, and then I had my red jacket and my little wig when we were on the street. Where's that was the only now? piece of wardrobe not original. We needed a jacket, and we didn't have one that we liked. So we shoot on the street in Hollywood Boulevard. We saw a kid. I said, see if you can buy her jacket. And they said, we'll give her free tickets to Disneyland. I said, she don't want tickets. She wants money. <laughs> Offer her money. And they gave her, and we got the jacket. And we cleaned it, and she bought it. 25 years later, despite all these actors' long list of credits since that time, Pretty Woman is what the fans still want to talk about, even in the far reaches of the planet. Tell the cave story. Is it? (laughs) (laughs) What's the cave story? I don't know. Oh, wait, I remember a story. It wasn't a cave. It was was a far, far away place. It was in uh, Papua New Guinea. No, it wasn't. It was in Borneo. They got bones in their ears, bones in here. It's, I've gone. I've taken a missionary flight. I'm in the middle of nowhere, nowhere, and I get in this boat, and they take me down to the longhouse, and we, I, we pull up, up on shore, and they start going, "Pretty woman, man! Pretty woman, man!" <laughs> They've never seen a movie in their entire life, but they know pretty well. <laughs> Fun uh, to see oh right my God! Yeah. Uh, they all look great. Yeah. It really. By the way, we're just getting started with the cast of Pretty Woman. Tomorrow, they'll reveal never-before-told stories from the set. We'll hear more from Hector and Laura, and we'll see how they remember their famous lines. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Julia probably remembers them better than Richard. <laughs> I'm not going to give anything away. <laughs>